This is the interactive figure, surface, and a level curve. In this figure, we will see how a surface is defined and how a level curve is defined, and we'll see several examples of each. When the figure opens, a three-dimensional graph is given to us on the left. You can click and drag the background to get a different view of the picture. And there's the graph of a function in blue. So a function, f of x, y, is given, and the graph of a function is the set of all points in space, x, y, z, such that z equals f of x, y. The graph of such a function is called a surface. Also on the left, we see a plane, a pink plane, that is parallel to the x, y plane. And right now, that plane uh, has a z value of negative 2.1. I can adjust that z value and see how the plane cuts through the surface for various values of z. And how the plane cuts the surface, that is what's graphed in the lower right, and that is what produces a level curve. Let me set z to, say, 1, for example. The level curve is a set of points in the xy plane. It's not a set of points in space. A level curve is a set of points in the xy plane that satisfy f of xy equals c for some constant c. So in this particular case, I've set my c value equal to 1. So what's being graphed in the xy plane for my level curve is the set of all points xy such that 4 minus x squared minus y squared equals 1. And by dragging the different z values, I can see how the different level curves correspond to points in space where the plane cuts the surface. In this interactive figure, there are seven different examples preloaded. You can drag the slider on top to see the different examples, and you can see how the plane cuts through the surface to create different level curves. And don't forget to move around the three-dimensional view to get a better picture of your surface and plane. And you can click in the box with the equation to uh, modify the equation or create your own surface. So try some different coefficients and see how that adjusts the picture. So there you have it, surfaces and level curves. Experiment with the examples that are given and try a few of your own.